<laughs> uh, we are level 13, orbiting Calderas. We're going to go ahead and load the bridge right now. We've been murdering orcs. Oh my god, J I have been t meaning to talk about this the whole week. About orcs and how awesome they are. I don't want Cyrus. I want... Get him out of there. Thaddeus. Yeah, him how do I get him out? I wanna... Oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Thaddeus. Okay, cool. So I'm your melee squad. But I wanted to talk to you about how cool it is the way that orcs show respect to people that they hate. So have you ever heard of, I think it's Commissar Yarick? I have not. Okay. <laughs> he's this old grizzled son of a bitch who he's, he's, you know what a commissar is. Yes. He was in one of the wars for Armageddon and he was defending against the orc horde. And I guess he got in a fight with a big old war boss and he was, got his eye ripped out. He got his arm chopped off, but he still managed to beat by the way, I'm heading to Typhon right now. Okay. He still managed to beat the orc war boss. And he was missing an arm. So he's like, well, this orc war boss has got this giant mechanical metal arm. I think I'll just weld that onto my ass right now. <laughs> and they stuck a bionic eye on him. And the orc started telling stories about like, oh, Commissar Yorick, he can kill you with a glance from his metal eye. <laughs> well, Yorick heard this and was like, that's pretty fucking cool, actually. Do you guys think you could install a laser beam in my eye? And they did. Nice. Yeah, no. So he's just this old, grizzled badass. And the orcs, you know, like, the, the way they think was like, Oi, there, Hueys go right proper guts. I'd like to rip them out. <laughs> <laughs> I love orcs. <laughs> anyway. Orcs, I, I'm uh, telling you, if I were to play the tabletop, I would certainly play orcs. They're just so ridiculous. They are. <laughs> Their rules are stupid. My absolute favorite. All right, so what do you think we should go for? Uh, hive? This this planet doesn't have much of an Tyranid infestation. Let's see. So I'm going to let you pick this one. Um, I mean, it's kind of the only thing we have to do is the is the array, which is the main thing. I guess we should do the special assignment. I guess we which should just that? do it. Even though, the, even though the infestation is low, it makes sense that we should just get it. If it's an optional quest, I guess we mm -hmm. can just do them now, unless there's some sort of timed threat like the tyranid infestation on meridian will keep going up right and let me check the meridian I view planetary details oh wow that's really high but none of our uh our missions pertain to the infestation itself mm -hmm. okay so i it's up to you buddy orcs or tyranid which let's, one do you feel let's, like let's do, the, let's do the tyranid one and then we'll do the main objective after i'm gonna take a moment to say hello to everyone in the chat ming star frequent viewer awesome person Jarzis Crest says hello from Vietnam. It's tomorrow for him already. Blazieth, Kratos Serving. Sure, Classic. Frostfire Story, how you doing, buddy? Trevis, hello. Fired Artist, Vorgaz. Frequent viewers returning, that's what I like to see. <laughs> Fired Artist says he thought this was on Fridays and Saturdays. Unfortunately, apparently Fridays and Saturdays now that I'm working at Vale Resorts. Those are their busiest days. They got me on split shifts and really long shifts. So we will yeah. find days. We will find we'll, days eventually. We will always we're... announce. Yes, exactly. We'll always make announcement videos, and if if we get into a consistent pattern on a better day, we will we'll make sure we tell people. At the heart of the Tyranid Hive lies the reclamation pool. We must have a sample of this purified essence. Ugh. With it, oh my God! We may revive. <gasps> yes, yes, we can revive Captain. Yes. With it, we may develop weapons against the hive fleet itself. I don't even care. I want Captain Thule. <laughs> yes, get us that <laughs> dreadnought. Mm. So he can be part of your squads or my squads because we can kit him out to be ranged or melee. It's up to you. We can switch him off. I don't care. Uh, I guess it's whether we who we want to get rid of. Like who's lowest priority on the squad? Because Thaddeus seems really useful, but if he's replaceable by Thule. Do you think that that tech priest is also, um, what's his name? The voice is Cyrus? Cyrus? The tech priest? Uh, I can't tell. So, it's such that deep, like... Oh, the, the Marcellus guy? I think that is, I think that's, um, I can't think of his name, but, uh, it, it is that voice actor. Steve Blum? Yeah, yeah. it's it definitely Steve Blum, it seems to me. Okie dokie. I think. No, no, I think you're, I think you're right. Let's see if we can get back in the in the swing of things here. Good <laughs> first engagement. 
Yeah, no, I'm feeling pretty good against these ma- like, but that's like saying I killed some Zerglings, god, I'm rocking this, <laughs> this Zerg army. Killing it! Oh, there's some coming up behind us, too. What's up with this? Oh, they don't play around, do they? Alright, that is, I see you, I see you. He's got his power fist, he's feeling, feeling saucy. <laughs> oh my god, these, uh... This banner on Tarkus is so ridiculous looking. It's a little... <laughs> I like how I saw in the comments someone said, like, even poor Tarkus's squad mates, even when you upgrade them, they still suck. Yep. And I'm like, well, I'm glad I did that. Great. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that joke is bad. <laughs> Al Martino, good luck and, or hello there, good hunting. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm running with Thaddeus right now. Oh, hoo, 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 Thaddeus, you need to run. Get him Stop out of there. Friend. We're covering him. Oh, good grenade. Well, that was a demolition pack, actually. It had a long cooldown. Tyranids are just stupid. Yeah, they just stand there. <laughs> so, chat. Honestly, I like to switch up those I use from mission to mission. I'm, I get that. Okay, by the way, you have some mines coming up. I'm going to get them, and then I'm going to bring them to you. Okay, I'm moving Tarkus up to take <sighs> care of them. Come on, alt tab. I don't need that right now. <laughs> Welcome, new folks joining. Rochambeau, a newcomer from Azathan's channel. Welcome. Oh, Rochambeau, dude, good to see you here. I love you. You're he's so consistently like, commenting and just engaging on the channel. I love to see those regular commenters. I mean, as you know, you just kind of grow to know them. Mm -hmm. Frostfire says, just started Dawn of War 2. Big noob, just started any tips. You know, I played this solo, and I felt so confused on how to play this properly. But now that we're playing... Uh, now that we're playing together, I feel like I'm having a lot more uh, success because they don't have to focus on using all of these different heroes. Yeah. It gets kind of That's overwhelming. Fun. God, these Raveners, though, are pop. Watch out for Abatis. Oh, He's get out of there, Abatis. Oh, no. Get out of there. Oh, melee is the worst. Go, oh, run. It's still there. It's Why still is he there. stuck? Okay, he's going. He's going. I don't know, but it's still here. <laughs> let's uh, let's yet. let's grab the main objective, and before we get the... Or let's grab the, the beacon and then move up to the foundry first. Okay. Um, it's easier said than done for me specifically. Oh, it followed me all the way back to the beacon. You really? Yeah, what it's all the way back here. They burrow. Oh, it looks like you got him. Yeah, we killed it, but that was weird. I have not <laughs> yeah, seen that before. It had have been better. <laughs> uh, oh, God. I feel like I'm going to have to make my commander run away from these mines. Yep, 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 yep. I'm coming. Yep. I'm trying to get up there. <laughs> Oh my god! No, oh my god. he goes god down. Damn it. Sorry, I wasn't there. there. No, it's my fault. I taunted the mines. I should have been ready. Should have been there. A squad leader is nothing without his squads. Except a man with a giant axe. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, he's still probably more man than I will ever be. <laughs> he is nonetheless not quite what we might expect. <laughs> Oh, man, this is getting me in the mood to watch some injured casts, like 4v4 Dawn of War. Yeah, I, someone linked those, and I started watching them. It's really cool. Yeah, I mean, just the scale and scope. I don't know how you keep track of everything. Those guys are keeping, you know, six or eight squads alive the whole time. Yeah, we it's dude, playing this solo, is it feels overwhelming. It really does. Oh, well. Oh, by the way, also, I'm, I'm bringing some mines to you right okay, now. Okay, I'll set up. Let, let's get rid of these. They'll be gone, but for the next time when we, uh... <laughs> when, when we, we come fail? back. What do you mean the next time? No, no, when we come back after we get the optional objective. <laughs> you know, when we inevitably die and we lose today's deployment and... Totally we, okay. We've only had to reset one mission, and by reset I mean lose. I'm amazed we survived the Tyranid map where we jumped in and lost half our squads immediately. That was awesome, though. We played that, that like, cool. fucking ballers, all right? Yeah. <laughs> People see that on YouTube uh, probably next week sometime. All right, let's uh, proper guys. <laughs> let's uh, let's move up to the upper the upper area first before we get the objective. Okay. Ooh. Oh, it spawns oh, warriors. Warrior. Cool. All right. Keep it off the commander. Keep it off the commander. The commander wants that shit. Yeah, I was about to say the commander's getting in on it. <laughs> Nice. We're burning those down a lot faster now, it seems like. Wow, I love how just my special ability is just chop through these ferns. All right, so you said you wanted to move up? 
a bit before we take that? Yeah, to grab uh, this. Unless... Oh, yeah, 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 no, you're right, you're right, you're right. Unless there's two main objectives. I think there might be, just because, you know, those buildings are marked on our map. Yeah. Uh, but let's do it your way. There's no reason not to. I guess, yeah, we shouldn't it. risk it. We should just try to push in. But there are... Ah, oh, there's Tyranid buildings up here. Great. It's all right. I got my squad. I'll destroy the buildings. Michael, but what I'm trying to do is move in with Tarkus to distract their shots, and then I can set up Avatus and quickly kill them. It's just really hard to, to get set up properly. Watch out for that spore thrower. Yeah, oh, that's... you blew it up. Never mind. Well, that's what, that's what I was saying. I try to move Tarkus in to take the hits, and then Avatus can set up without getting hit by it and just murder the shit out of it. Tarkus is a tanky bastard, I'll give you that. He is now, yeah. He wasn't before. No. <laughs> Everyone basically said, once you get Terminator armor, you can just A, move through the entire map, which is a Protoss player feels right to me. Oh, yeah. Uh, Blazioth is saying <laughs> that it's not the end of the map, so we could go and grab this. Okay, cool. Let's grab that. Thank you, chat. Chat, you're the best. Beautiful day to chill at the pool. Digestion pools count, right? Yes, <laughs> El Martino, yes, they do. Digestion pool, is that what it's called? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Biosample, uh, it's a reclamation pool, but honestly, anything that goes anywhere near that is getting digested. That's how Tyranid work. I mean, it's a spawning pool. Let's be straight about this. <laughs> it's a Zerg Again, spawning we, pool. There's, they didn't, Blizzard didn't do a good job of hiding that. Also, we have mines and raveners that are gonna jump us the minute we touch this. Okay, so... um, I'm gonna kill this group and then. Okay. Oh, I see them back there. Um, oh, they're gone, okay. I guess our squads are more powerful than I remember them being. Maybe this mission is just a little easier. All right, All right I'm coming come. in. I'm coming in to get rid of those. All right, I'm gonna jump. The minute you blow those up, I'll jump in with my guys. Okay. Here we go. One, two, and let's see if I can get. Not the quite. Not quite. No. Why are the? No, ah! ah! oh, that was Sorry. bad. I'll use my healing potion. Oh, good, good, good grab there. All right, Tarkus, get out of there. I guess I need to individually target them. I just sort of set Avatus up and hope that it would work out. <laughs> yeah. Spoilers, it didn't. Shocking. All right. As One more play Marine. Rise of the Lich King, I will. I promise. Don't. Um, Don't. You're not going to like it. I played it on my channel. It was terrible. Yeah. I s oh, okay. Because I actually saw that you had played it. Don't. It's kind of embarrassing that you've played more Warcraft 3 maps than I have. It was, well, I've played more campaigns. You've done many, much more varied, unique content. What? Yeah, but don't, but I, I'm telling you, don't. You're it's, awesome. it's not in, It's not fun. <laughs> all right. All and right. I hate I'll... to say that because I try to support all map makers in a way to say like, oh, give it a shot. This one, I, I it was the, it was the first campaign mm. that I just did. I did not look forward to playing every time I Do opened it up. Do you think that they're telling me to play it because they want to see me suffer? Probably. The, the fourth map was just terrible. It's not that it's super hard. It's just really frustrating the way that it's set up. There's, like, really shitty choke points with, like, six to eight cannon towers inside of the choke point. Oh. That, kind of, that kind of stuff. It's just yeah. silly. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I may skip that one, guys. I definitely <laughs> have to get back to the Chosen Ones, and I think that the Chosen Ones would be a great map for me to start my streaming career on. Oh, like, yeah. Actually streaming on Twitch. Because it's going to be a long slash Dark Souls-esque map. I can see that. Oh, I've been thinking about on Chosen that. One, yeah. Uh, I, I was looking at that, too. I just started a new one. It's really <laughs> good, and it's it, it reminds me exactly like a, uh, a Tomo Raider campaign. Tomo Raider and Turn Row are amazing. Yeah. I, just put that out there. Uh, I think Tomo Raiders made my favorite campaigns, and I mean, I started with them, so maybe I've got some of the rose-tinted glasses on for nostalgia, but um, Shadows of Hatred is really, really good. It's um. Go on. It's uh. It's it follows Maiev through the Burning Crusade. Ooh, that's awesome. Yeah, it's and it's again. It has the quality of of a turn row camp, not a turn row campaign, uh, a Tomo Raider campaign. Right, right, right. But not the stupid unfair hard mode of a turn row. <laughs> right, correct. Tomo Raider seems, in my opinion, kind of got the difficulty just right. He's got it. He definitely tests. I think turn row goes. What would be really hard? And then just goes with that. Yeah. Just sort of makes it harder than that in like a I'm not going to test this sort of way. It seems right. Exactly. <laughs> See if you can exploit as much of the map as possible. Uh, if you beat it, well done. <laughs> like oh, I gave God. him six heroes. That should be good enough, right? No, it's not. In fact, it's not, <laughs> surprisingly enough. As it turns out, I'm not going to lie. I'm not having a super amount of trouble so far on that last map. Oh, good. Of the Jeopardy the Horde. But you said there's part two. 
that I should be saving up for. Oh yeah, I didn't really have trouble till the second section, but that's because I wasn't prepared oh. for it. Crap. Okay, so you were blowing all your you were blowing your load, so to speak, on the first part. Well, you you told me earlier you already know Asgalore shows up. Well, uh, the only reason I know that is because the introduction to the undead campaign. Says, oh yeah, yeah. All defeated Asgalore. <laughs> well, basically, even with all six of your heroes, even I mean, you get Drakthul as well. That's like I did six get or him. seven. Well, in, in either case, no matter how many heroes you have, you think it'd be enough, and he will just annihilate you. <laughs> like, just him. It's crazy. I barely, so, I barely scraped by. Do I want to basically have a ton of... Um, what I'm thinking in that case, if you're telling me that he is the problem, I want to have some wyverns, I want to have some purges ready on shamans, and I want to have some stun wards ready for my witch doctors yep probably and there's even there's more to it as well like he, oh, of course he summons more units and all that kind of jazz i don't want to i don't want to ruin it too much but no, that's no, basically no, no. that's basically okay. it so okay well let, i'm gonna jump in my assault squad right here on this building and try to beat it down okay and i'm sure i'm sure you'll be fine <laughs> <laughs> you say that but you've watched me play you know i'm not that good i think you're better than me <sighs> So I think you'll be okay. Oh my god, did you just one shot that with a Thaddeus jump? Apparently I oh did. Oh my That's god, that was great. And actually I can't move from there. So. <laughs> They're stuck up there. Maybe you're, you're gonna have to jump down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to like draw units to you so you can jump on them. Tarkus is just standing there. There's a unit right in his face. He's not even looking at it. God. <sighs> He's a fool. He is a fool. I guess let's wipe out this group down here. Getting a full clear on this map shouldn't be too hard, so I guess let's just try for it. And since I've already lost one of my squads. Yeah, yeah, yeah we hopefully. might as well go for Fury. So, um, my new job, I've been working at Vale Resorts, and my job is to put boots on people and or make sure that their skis are properly teched. I managed to cut off my hand in three different locations and bruise oh. another hand in oh, my God. first day. It was oh, lovely. God. That sounds terrible. <laughs> But, on the plus side, one of my coworkers asked me if I could take him home, and I was like, yeah, sure. So on the way there, we started bonding over video games, and then Dark Souls, and then Super Smash Brothers, and I mentioned iFrames. He's like, well, you know about iFrames? Yeah. <laughs> so he invited me in to hang out with his roommates that night, and we, like, dude, I, okay, look, they're living the 20-something dream. I'm 28, <laughs> so I was the old guy there. Everyone was about 23 to 24. But they had their little weed set up. They had blues. <laughs> they had like three TVs with Super Smash Brothers. I was talking about Rooster Teeth, Red vs. Blue, all that, everything. It was... That's great. That's great <sighs> when you just oh, you move somewhere and you meet people who are exactly aligned with your interests. It's like the perfect yeah. way to get acclimated. I wanted to cry a little bit. I was so worried moving to this new place and starting a new life that I might not be able to find you know, th those people. That, that was so reaffirming. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, Tark Tarkus, shoot them! Tarkus, why are you not Tarkus shooting those things? Bird. Oh my god. I'll punch him. <laughs> oh, okay, we're okay. Two things. Delta 6, haven't seen you for a while, buddy. Great to see you. And you don't have to apologize for being busy with college. You know what comes first. You know what comes first. You do you first, bro. Uh, no, you haven't been around for the streams. I don't care if it's school-related, okay? Um, you're not welcome here anymore. <laughs> Capiche? And then second, I went to, um, I went to someone's house, I went to a co-worker's housewarming party, and he's 23, and I'm 28. And so me and two of my co-workers, one's 30 and one's 28 as well, we went, we were invited, and we show up, and it's just, it's like a major bachelor pad. There's three of them living there, and the first thing I see is a is a pyramid of empty Bud Light cans. And that's how I'm like, these guys are, yep. these guys are 23. <laughs> yep. <laughs> and they're right, they had their little weeds set up, and they, they played beer pong. Not to say I don't like, I mean, I'll play beer pong if available, but they had their, they had like a specialized beer pong table, and it was awesome. Oh. I had a great time. Well, I mean, again, it's always fun. Oh, we're about to meet somebody big. But it's always nice to find people. I don't know. It's fun to fool around. Like, you're. I don't know how to describe it exactly. I'm just going to go ahead and pop this right away. Yeah, Start dropping yeah, turrets. Okay. I wish I hadn't run, but okay, we're here. It's fine. There's, a, there's it. a thing right behind us. Avatus, move Ooh, up. Avatus, move up. Uh, I got to back up, buddy. It's okay. I really hate to leave you here. I'm good, uh, maybe, probably. Don't, don't let him put it in your butt. That's what <laughs> I, the only suggestion I have. Oh, 
it's charging. Tarkus, I'm I'm uh, I'm backing out. It's okay. We can kind of do some uh, some back and forths here. I didn't really need to back out. I was just low on health. I'm moving Avatus back up. Move. That is stupid. Oh, What's happened? Oh! This. Oh, you get him. Use that shit. I'm moving up with uh. Oh, oh my god, goodness. what a man! <laughs> Look at him crushing like the intro. Oh, I love it. No, that is, you stay there. All right, Davian, let's just crush this son of a bitch. <laughs> he's gonna, he's gonna tank for us. He might. He's got well, only 511 health. Not all that much, but his armor type might be the thing that makes us win. Yeah, look at the small this things. They're doing like no damage to him. Oh my god, my my commander though. Just the minute he's in there. All right, now duke it out with the hive tyrant. Man, my my units are just melting to this thing. Yeah, same here. I'm gonna go ahead and jump on you because if I can. We're doing good damage to it. I think Thule is doing like oh, wow. huge damage Thule to him. Is wrecking him. Yeah, yeah. I think maybe you're meant to use Thule. Maybe he might be just uh, have a higher resistance to the rest of your squad. Oh my god. Yeah. No, that was silly. <laughs> oh, Thule. <laughs> Davian Cool lives. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy. Do you guys, Jay, Azza, and Deltron, know what each other's real names are? Do not expect you to tell us, nor do I want you to. I and think I know you. I am Justin. Yeah, that's what I was going to guess. Okay, and you don't know mind, right? It is it's a Josh. Josh. Captain. Well, it's on Skype. <laughs> me. Yeah, <laughs> fuck it, you're right. I do know Deltron's name, but he specifically told me he wasn't intrigued in people knowing it, so... Okay, well, that's fine with me. I mean... Uh, oh crap, I'm forgetting Witty Warcraft's name right now. Uh, I'm pretty sure it starts with an L. I'd have to look at it, but I'm not going to out him right now. All right, let's see <laughs> You're not going to out him. <laughs> <laughs> He's just a little gay. All right, how did we do here? We only lost oh. one squad, so we should still get four for that. Oh, or three. Nope. Damn. This game is demanding. To yeah. get an extra deployment, you need... To get five out of five, it looks like. And and Damn. probably have two foundries. Man, that's, yeah, that's a lot. Antitoxin. Okay. Administering the antitoxin. <sighs> we already know he can hear us. He fought with us. <laughs> Captain Thule, can you hear us? Oh, poor guy. be pissed too <laughs> oh my god <laughs> oh my lord i like how it's just like a giant iron lung he you can't even see him there's just Excellent a tiny little slot commander. yeah captain thule's return could be the difference in our fight to save the sector yeah richard it is good to see such a close friend and such a fierce warrior back from the dead even if he is confined to a dreadnought <laughs> most Dang. importantly the biotoxin sample you collected will allow us to develop a weapon with which to deal a killing blow against the high fleet. But this weapon will avail us nothing if we cannot locate a critical weakness in the high fleet itself. Continue your efforts to recover the data from the tech priest's astronomic array on Typhon. We must also secure a manufacturing facility advanced enough to produce these new weapons. The only such facility in the sector is Angel Forge on Meridian. Angelos out. <clears throat> okay. Okay. So, I am going to. Oh wow, two more opened up. Okay. Um. And one of them's one of them has a. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm gonna. Ch I'll check the other planets. 